Hey everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show, and I have Executive Chef Chris Carty from the Black Marlin. Welcome back, Chef. Thank you very much, glad to be here. Nice to have you, and um, looks like we are gonna be cooking up something and showing off a little one, bit of, of both. one of your signature items. Absolutely. Um, today we're gonna be cooking uh, Mussels Messina, it's one of our okay. uh, top selling appetizers. Okay. Um, and these are mussels. For those people who have not seen them, can you just, we'll just kind of show them what the mussels. So this is... These are actually PEI mussels. Okay. Uh, PEI is Prince Edward Island. Uh, okay. It's an island north of Nova Scotia. Okay. And they actually are the highest producing um, purveyor for mussels in this continent. And they, last year I think they sold 41 million pounds oh, of mussels. Oh, just 41 million. So that, that's, that's a lot <laughs> that's of mussels. a lot of mussels. And now are they salty? Are they sweet? Are they... Uh, they're sweet. Okay. Uh, very tender. Uh, nice. If you don't overcook them, which is, you know, a quick and easy thing to do, unfortunately. Okay. But um, these are already clean. Usually you take the beard off, which is a okay. little fuzzy thing here, which actually okay. it holds the mussel to the rope. To, okay. Um, these are rope uh, cultivated. Ah. So they sit in the middle of the ocean like this, and when they're ready, they just pull them up and, and they, pull them and off. And they pull them off. Yep. Okay. And then, so we're going to cook these up, and this is um, mussels Messina? Messina. Is Messina. Okay, Correct. great. So what goes into it? All right, we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And now this is something, obviously, you just you cook to order on every single appetizer. Yes, this dish is an olive minute dish, so Ooh. it's, it's uh, fast and furious sometimes. <laughs> I love it. And then um, with the mussels, now is this usually about the size of an order then? Yeah, I usually get 18 to 22 per order, so okay. it, it's a healthy portion. Perfect. Next, we're gonna go a little bit of onion. Love that sizzle, make sure your pan's always hot. Yep. Uh, next, we're gonna go maybe a tablespoon of fresh garlic. Okay. And now this is something you could buy mussels at the your local seat, uh, market or anything like that, right? But you would have to ask for, and you would have to clean them at home usually, or do they come clean already? Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but you'll definitely right. want to double check, and if, if you have any open mussels, disregard them, absolutely. Out. all right. Uh, next we're gonna go with a tablespoon of butter. Wonderful, butter. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Uh, a little bit of fresh tomato. And where does Messina come from? What does that mean? Um, it is actually a city in Sicily, uh, northeastern part. Okay. Um, and their mussels are named after their town. So ah. they're harvested and cultivated there. Okay, and then this is just a great style of the way to Correct. Cook cooking it. Correct, very simple. Uh, next we're gonna go about two ounces of wine. And then a glass for you. And then finish the rest, oh, really? absolutely. <laughs> Would it be rude to drink out of an eight ounce plastic? <laughs> no. <laughs> next we're gonna go maybe about three, three ounces oh, of cream. Gosh. That just makes it decadent. <laughs> it does, rich and delicious. And so while that's cooking up, then, okay, so while that's cooking up, I definitely, or I'll wait till you put the muscle in, because I, I just want to bite into that right now. <laughs> the shrimp burger. This is the shrimp burger. That is. Featured on Food Network. It was, uh, Curtis Stone's Bee Cheese. Yeah, it was fantastic, it was a great episode. You um, represented Hilton Head very well, so, so thank you. Thank and, you. Um, but this was Food Network approved. What makes it Food Network approved? <laughs> You're gonna have to ask yeah. Curtis. <laughs> Cur Curtis is the true answer on that one. Correct, correct. Well, Curtis, come on the show. <laughs> there was a little plug for WHHI. There you go. <laughs> All right, so We're gonna add a salt. little bit of salt. Uh, we're gonna go right in with our mussels. Beautiful. Now, how long does it usually take mussels to cook? Uh, not very long. I'd say about a minute, minute and a like half. Like it's not a boiling process when no, you like... No, as soon as they start to pop, you'll give them a quick toss and let them go about another 30 seconds. They should all open up nicely and straight into the and bowl. Is and is this serve. available at lunch and dinner? This is just on your appetizer menu. Uh, appetizer menu for lunch and dinner. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Now, I know you guys have a lot of things coming up in November. Mm -hmm. um, with what, what are some of the things that are coming up right away? Because I mean, it's like every weekend you can find Black Marlin at either an event or something going on at the restaurant. It is. This weekend, uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th, right? we have the Hilton Head Oyster Festival. Okay, so which is a great weekend. event at Shelter Cove, yep. Absolutely. Uh, our next one is November 20th for Taste of the Seasons, which we'll be serving our famous sushi nachos. Yes, yes, I love them. <laughs> and our last event of the month is the 29th. Right. And that is... Thanksgiving weekend when everybody's in town. That is. <laughs> that's our uh, Black Marlin Oyster Roast. Gotcha. And with the Oyster Roast, now that's um, basically you guys take, you have your, your whole entire outside patio area and you are doing oysters both raw and cooked and 
uh, steamed, I mean, steamed yep. everything. And we have actual platters uh, with different seafood, um, shrimp, sausage, corn, potatoes, king crab, snow oh crab. Gosh. And That's I like gave you the spread. wrong date. This is 28th. 28th, the just Saturday came, guys. the 28th. <laughs> but it's a all, you know, the whole weekend though is definitely, I mean, you have families in town, people are shopping, people are looking for fun things to do on the island. Um, and this is, if you don't want oysters though, there's all kinds of things Absolutely. to get. Absolutely, our regular menu will be served as well, so um, we have the something full menu, for everybody. Including the shrimp burger. Including the Which, shrimp real burger. Real quickly, what's in the shrimp burger? Uh, <laughs> it's basically Coastal Carolina shrimp, some red and green bell peppers, a little bit of egg to bind it, and just okay. a touch of panko, but it's all shrimp. And what is that beautiful sauce on there too? Which uh, That is our house-made tartar sauce. And you see Secrets on that one? All of it. <laughs> All, oh, I was just looking for the Food Network approved reasons. <laughs> All right, All right, so our mussels are about ready here. We're gonna finish with the fresh herbs, always at the end. And that's truly how it's supposed to pop open. Like that's when Correct. you know it's ready. Yep. When it's that much popped open. A okay. little bit of fresh basil, a little, little bit of fresh parsley. Oh, very fragrant, love it. I always finish with one hit of lemon. That looks awesome. Oh, you make it look so easy, chef. So this is called Mussels Messina, available for lunch and dinner on the appetizer menu. Great to have at the bar if you're sitting there having a cocktail outside at the Hurricane Bar. Um, and of course, along with all the other great items that they have, including the beautiful shrimp burger. Food Network approved. Food Network approved. <laughs> And of course, check out their website for all of the events coming up in November. You'll be able to find Black Marlin all over the island serving up some of their great entrees, both seafood and non-seafood. And non-seafood. All right, great. Thank you so much, Chef. That is gorgeous. And we will be back in just a moment.